Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss solution of engineering graphics quiz which you have attempted. So let's start with question number one where the standard size of half imperial sheet was asked. So it is by considering margin. If you check option number one, it is with margin. So that's not the correct one. The correct answer for this as a size of half imperial sheet is option D 457 into 609 mm. Option B and C are the same size sheet. Let me know in the comment section what is the name of the or the size of the sheet for option B and C. So the next question is which line is wrongly shown in the figure so if you check here outline which is shown as given figure is wrong because it is a hidden line a dash line so the C is the correct answer that means this is a wrong line shown in the figure option you can check rest of the option next question number three which dimension method is shown in the figure as a clearly visible unidirectional method says dimension number is written by cutting the dimension line so it is not unidirectional the correct answer is option b aligned for this two figure we need to identify correct option so here in the right hand side figure the position of observer and object and on the left side figure if you compare the left hand side figure represent first angle method while the right hand figure represent the position of observer object and plane in third angle so the correct answer is option B identify a correct line type for cutting plane so i'll explain all the lines it is very simple a is a option a it represent a continuous thick visible line so that is outline b is center line c is a dash line or hidden line and the last one is what is the correct answer is for cutting plane we show the line like this so ends are thick next one with reference to the figure state the eccentricity values from left to right so if you see the animation clearly the first one left that's a yellow figure shows it's a circle parallel to base so eccentricity for circle is zero second ellipse green third hyperbola and fourth red one is parabola so in this sequence if you see the eccentricity is 0, less than 1, greater than 1 and for parabola eccentricity is equal to 1. Correct answer is option C. Next, identify the curves from the given application. So this is a path traced by this football. It's a good example of parabola, option D. Identify the curve by the shadow of this lamp. It is a straight away, it's a hyperbola, option A. Next, in this animation, the earth is revolving around the sun. And of course, logical answer is in elliptical orbit or a path where the sun is situated as focus, not a vertex. So here the correct answer is C, ellipse and sun is at focus. Now there are different examples of spiral you can see in day to day life till the technical application as well. So the correct answer for this question is all of the above. You check all the figures, animations. Next one, select the curve which represent this compression spring. So if you see it is in the animation clearly visible again it is a helix on a cylinder with the different 
number of turns so the option is helix on cylinder as application of helical compression spring next one identify the core as a path traced by the end point of thread during its winding and unwinding shape so the two points are shown one is red with another and is a blue so basically here you can clearly see this shape of the thread end is nothing but the definition of involute so it is an involute of circle we can have any other base shape also accordingly the names are given square pentagon hexagon and others identify the curve again very straightforward simple it represent a cycloid next identify correct top view for a given figure x represent front view which is given in diagram so for this correct top view check here it is we have a right hand side view for top view you can say the width so the correct view to match with this top view is option c now again identify correct isometric views of a given 2d sketch so front view and the top view is the same so you can see it's option a looks as it is very simple but if you check option b is also same it's front view and top view and even option c so all this option a b c represent the same front view and the top view so the correct answer is all of the above select correct top view for given object arrow represent x front view so top view will have a correct orientation as shown in option number c next question identify incorrect view if x represent front view of course so here right hand side view is shown in option a top view is shown in option b whereas front view is shown in option c so the wrong orientation is option of d so that's incorrect view d again straight forward but uh, most of the student again confused here angle between isometric axes is it is asked isometric axes so that is always 120 degree we have three axes so that's con constant angle is 120 degree select the isometric views for a given orthographic so again similar very common questions we are discussing for this type of question that can be asked in your interview i hope this quiz is useful for you to think in a different perspective to prepare this engineering graphics subject in some interesting way if you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel thank you next question for this square in square same front view and top view if you check this both options are same one part is extruded and one is cut same dimension on the same surface so if you check its front view and top view will be same interesting thing is option c is also correct by considering a logical thing as the dimension of the cylinder is a diameter and the length or height you can say is the same dimension of that inner square and instead of having a slant we can have a curved surface like shown in the figure so for this question even little bit tricky all options are correct next correct isometric views for this again same front view and the top view this is third question we are discussing the same front view and top view with the different possible solutions so it's straight away we can have a two slant faces as it can be a curved surface so one simple combination is shown here so both are correct option c coming back to some interesting question 
those who know it the definition of full section half section and offset section correctly they won't get confused this simply represent it is a full section so if you observe this animation clearly what is offset section or a half section you can watch another videos for this so here answer is b full section next incorrect statement for this given animation if you see this orientation yellow face represent the right hand side view of course the green is front view red is top view so here the correct answer is the wrong statement is option number c green face represent left hand side it's a wrong one because that is front view so few questions on your basic knowledge to check your basic knowledge on development this represent a square pyramid so lateral development of square pyramid is most appropriate option b next this represent the development of cone but yes it's not only a lateral development it is we called by cutting an auxiliary inclined plane so the lateral development of cone when it is cut by auxiliary inclined plane option b the application of all the development surfaces it is in the air conditioning industry to design the duct in piping industry in sheet metal few operations so the knowledge of development of surfaces and its intersection is very very important so last a very interesting but tricky question formation of this funnel which knowledge of lateral surfaces are used as discussed here we have a three basic shapes or surfaces you can say a top mid and the bottom surface so here lateral surface knowledge along with this how the intersection of these surfaces are combined together to form this funnel is very essential so correct answer is intersection of a different surfaces and the solids where the development is obtain by cutting the this three different solids that is a square pyramid one you can see as this first top face and the last one is this bottom face so i hope this quiz is we tried to create your interest in engineering drawing but in little bit in application oriented perspective if you like this video share and in comment box mention your reply and feedback if you are interested to attempt few other subject quiz like little bit in same background application oriented mention your subject in the comment box thank you